Welcome everyone, Creative Lori here. So here's another episode, I think this is four, episode four, um, of me saving every single week and I document what I saved on. <clears throat> I'm two days late. This is a Tuesday, you might not see it till Wednesday, but I'll try to upload it this evening. Um, something's been going on with our internet, so um, I think because we have such high winds, you probably can't hear it in the background, but it's like 70 miles an hour at some time points in time of the day. And it's crazy, <laughs> but it's like sunny and it was raining early this morning, super hard. And then it's now sunny and it's almost like tornado weather. Oh, it's kind of scary, but, and we, we have had tornadoes out in our area. Anyway, I think it's fine. I'm feeling better. Not 100%. I just think, I don't know, it's my cough is lingering and this and that and blah, 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 blah. I don't even care. I just want to be well, <laughs> well again. But this week, how I saved was, um, <clears throat> let me get my little, yeah, so it's easier to see for each day. All right, so for Monday, I food prepped onions, cilantro, lemons, cabbage, and cucumbers and I finished some leftovers. So I did, I think, food prepping in three small segments during the week so that it would always be kind of fresh. And um, I was just really craving some fresh veggies to have in my meals, and it certainly didn't disappoint, I'll tell you that. So well, that saves you money. And um, the, oh, the cabbage and cucumbers, whoops, let's focus. Um, I bought and I meant to have them for my dad. So he's still going to get some, but I was so sick that I didn't want him coming near me to get sick. Also lemons are from my backyard and I finished my lovely soups from last week. Well, here and there I did. And then Tuesday, um, I ran out of detergent. So I used some Dawn dish soap and diluted it in my washing machine. And it, it just works really well. And I'm like, why don't I just always do this? It smells wonderful. It really seems to brighten my clothes. So I made a whole container of it. And I'll show you how much I used. All right, I don't really like this bottle because it stays open and then you squeeze it, but I only use that much. I don't know if you could see, let's see. Yeah, not very much to make a whole container. So this was like two something, <clears throat> cause I always have it. It's great for animals, give, bathing them if they have fleas. It really cuts grease and I just, this is one thing that I'll always have on hand, but I don't use for my normal washing of dishes. It's for like really big jobs. And even when I mop, I use that with baking soda and vinegar. It works wonderfully and I mop quite often. Okay, so um, yeah, I was really happy that I had that. I normally I buy my um, dish or my washing machine detergent um, from the Dollar Tree and it's fine, you know, it's really diluted and I always dilute that, but I feel like I really got my money's worth on this. So Wednesday, I went through some of my bathroom items and found duplicates. So that was really important. I only went through maybe one fifth of my bathroom inventory um, that I have organized and everything, but I forgot that I had it. And I don't know why, I just hadn't gone through it, through it in a while. And I mean like, you know, um, shampoo, conditioners, maybe cleansers, cotton pads, that sort of thing. So I didn't have to buy any of that. Um, I won't have to buy the, any of that for like the next month and a half or so. Well, probably longer because there's there was like a lot of different, so on certain things I should say. Thursday, so it's always great to take inventory. <laughs> Thursday, I food prepped. I did soup with tofu and I made rice and I finished my leftovers. So I made soup, I made a separate tofu dish and the tofu I did buy. 
and then I made rice. So I kind of combined some of them as I've been eating through the week. I only made a small batch, but it was really helpful and really delicious. I'm really glad I did that. And I finished some other leftovers. Then on Friday, I went through my refrigerator and took inventory, which is really important. And I also cleaned it. I think a clean fridge really just promotes you wanting to eat it and to keep your food fresh. But I also, um, my friend gave me a guacamole container from um, Costco that they just had too many and her mom bought it like a container of three. It was huge. It was a huge container. And I'm really thankful because it was good. Um, I'm still eating it. And, um, but you know, taking inventory, I think that's an important thing, you guys. You need to know what you have in your fridge at all times and then buy what you like. I tend to make things over and over that I like. Soups, uh, lentils, pinto beans, soup, whatever with any of those, curries, salads, hummus. So I kind of just keep buying similar items. And if I get something like an oddball item, like in, in the food bank thing, I mean, I don't really buy much. I am, I feel really happy and blessed with that, but I will buy now little items here and there. Like I had bought tofu because I hadn't gotten tofu in my food bank haul and it's a source of protein for me. So I, I bought a couple packages and they were on sale by the way. Oops. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. So that's another savings. Uh, I bought dog food while on sale at Target. Oh, that's when the tofu was also on sale. Um, so I think I have these two mixed up. No, this day and that day. So I, I it, sometimes I do that, but um, yeah, this day came before these two. Anyways, I bought dog food while on sale at Target and the tofu because I really was just craving like a tofu soup. And then um, I made bread pudding out of stale pastry bread that I did get from the food bank. And you'll see that video, how I made it. This is half of it left. I don't think I can feed or feed it, eat it. <laughs> and so finish it. It's really nice. So very sweet. I didn't add any sugar. I didn't add any eggs. All I added was half and half with the items and I'll you'll see that in a video so this is really a nice treat and I'm going to be I don't think the guys want any of it because I think they think it's burnt but it's actually just caramelized and then the chocolate too so I'm just gonna slice it into little strips and then freeze it so that'll be during this week saving because I don't want to waste it it's it's really good with a cup of coffee so I was really happy with that and that has been sitting in my <laughs> freezer for a long time, the breads, and I still have more. I can make two more batches, I think, maybe three. So I really just, when I have a craving for something sweet, I'll pull this out and maybe I'll just cut it into cubes. That actually sounds better to me. Um, cubes, take out a cube and then eat one or two cube. Okay, then... Um, Okay, I talked about Saturday. Sorry, I'm trying to read my own writing. Um, it's getting dark in here. So I food prepped again. So I did a lot of short, like small food prepping things um, just so that the produce wouldn't go bad. I did coleslaw, pickled onions, and lentil beans. So here are the pickled onions. Now I've eaten like half. This was full all the way to the top. So... I still have, aren't they beautiful? And they look so beautiful on your salads and food, your avocado toast. Yeah, really love them. And that was from the food bank um, onions that I got that I keep in my garage to keep them going because it's cooler there. So that was really great and I really loved them. Um, I'm getting through them pretty quickly and I had the lentil beans too. So now meals for the week. So meals for the week. All right, so I have at least four servings that I can make out of tofu chunks, uh, marinated in chili oil, and then fried in my air fryer, and <clears throat> use it as like a nice little crispy topper. 
to my veggie salads or coleslaw. And it's like, I like texture, so it's really nice to have that. And then I have, um, I can do about, I can do more than four tostadas, but um, I can make tostadas instead of tacos. And I think that was last week. Yeah, I think I wrote down tacos. Yep, veggie tacos. Um, so I can make tostadas. Now I got those tostadas from the food bank I think in the very beginning, and I don't know if I even showed them because I forgot I put them in my pantry, but I, you know, I can do slaw on top of it, coleslaw, pickled onions, beans, lentils. It doesn't matter. I would prefer pinto, so I might have to make a little batch of pinto. And then avocado, which I still have. Now, the avocado I did buy, I don't know, I think like two weeks ago, my friend got it for me at Costco and they were just a really good deal. So, um, yeah, so I got that. So I have either four to seven at least, um, portions and probably it'll carry over to next week if I want to. If your tostadas, your pre-made shells or chips eat, are stale, put them in your toaster oven with the oil. It revitalizes them and gets crispy again. So that's a little tip. Then I can have half a bagel with guacamole for my friend or the guac or the avocado I do have. Um, and then I have those pizza rolls, which I did eat some of them during the time I was sick and they were really good and very filling. And I can have them with coleslaw. Now, I don't know what it is about um, gluten-free breads, but it's very filling, very, very filling. So you literally just have to have one serving and you're good. And then I had it with a nice acidic coleslaw. And then here are some of the snacks that I can make. I still have kiwi and I'm still going to give some to my dad. I might have to buy him more though. I have still have not seen him. So because I don't want to get him sick, but um, I do have the grapefruit still. I thought I was going to eat it. I didn't. I forgot about it. But it's good to take inventory because I do love it. And it's so nice even on top of a salad or just half of one for, you know, for a snack. And then I also have this bread pudding. I don't know if I can finish that though, so I might have to freeze it. But the good thing about like grapefruit, oranges, all that kind of thing, lemons, if you cut it, when you leave it in your refrigerator, it kind of seals over. And um, I love like biting into it. It's like biting into a sausage casing where it pops. I just love that. So, but I, th there's only a couple that are small and the one that's bigger. So I might have like one, two, four servings left actually. So that's quite a nice little menu for myself. Um, the tofu chunks, oh my gosh, you guys, they are really good. If you're not really sure what to do with tofu, um, toss them and marinate them with a little bit of oil and put them in your air fryer. Now I do put down some, um, what is it called? Uh, parchment paper. So it catches all the oils and that really works well for me. So you don't have to keep washing, you know, the, the basket. So I'm learning to love my air fryer, which I never thought I would, but <laughs> Um, I've been trying it again because everyone talked about how wonderful it is. And I'm like, okay, let me work with it again. But um, what I find is half a bagel is really enough because they're so dense. And having like maybe some guacamole and then the onions on top is really just satisfactory and filling. And those onions are amazing. So maybe try it out. Maybe make some... It's kind of like kachunga, I think it's called. Um, I know it's dark in here because it's getting dark again. Hold on, let's see. And <clears throat> as an East Indian thing, I could be saying it wrong, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But it's so good, you guys. You won't be disappointed. It's just a nice acidity and sweetness with the purple onions on top of your salads and whatnot. But the tofu would be a really nice thing on top of so many things you know, veggies that I steam, my salads, my coleslaw, and, and also, um, I could put them on my tostadas, but I don't think I will. I really like to keep it simple with like beans, avocado, 
you know, some nice little slaw. That's perfect for me. And I did make the pickled onions a little bit spicy. So that's it for me. Please let me know down below what you've done this week. I really love to hear because maybe I will adopt it. I am always open to ideas and you all have shown me such wonderful ideas and also you've been so nice and saying you know well wishes that you get better thank you so much I think it was the flu I did test three times for COVID and it was negative all three times in a way I wish it was COVID so I can get it out of the way again I've already had it once but everything's fine I'm much better but there's the cough that's still lingering and um, I'm still kind of really tired so I spent all this week um, and last week kind of catching up on my duties of cleaning and whatnot so that's why I'm a couple of days late it really needed to get done so um, thank you guys for watching please give me a thumbs up and I really hope you had a really fruitful and blessed week and you saved a little bit of money cutting corners here and there where we can. And I know we only have so much money to go around. And um, I did get a really awful rude comment from somebody, but that can be another video. I just think that there needs to be education out there because he was saying, he or she was saying, oh, your kitchen looks nice. Well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> but I haven't done anything to my kitchen. You know, this is a 20-year-old home. It's what I've had. And people, you know, have to realize that you have what you have. But you could still struggle. In 20 years, you can have some years of struggle. So please don't judge anyone. And um, it, this is why I want to remove the stigma for food bank. So have a really great day, you guys. God bless you all. Please let me know what you've done, like maybe what your menu was, what you've made, and ways. If you can't list something every day, maybe just tell me what you did in you know a couple, two, three days in the week that saved you money. All right, guys. Have a wonderful week. I will see you later. Bye-bye.